right. Go follow at Green Bench Brewing, I think. <laughs> Subscribe to me because I just put a pin in a beer to test this <laughs> viscosity. When was the last time you've seen anyone test viscosity of a beer? Never. Here we are at St. Petersburg back there. That is know, some church. That's a church. Down that way is the bay. And we're going to show you a couple breweries today, a couple different places, and some probably B-roll footage in between of things that we've done. So here is a shot from my hotel window, and let's hope it's a good trip. So we made it to Three Daughters, and she got a Strawberry Berliner Wise Sour. Looks pretty. Looks like rosé. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's really good. It's not overly sweet. And I got the tart. maple stout. I tried the oatmeal stout as well, but this maple bacon stout. It doesn't taste like bacon at all, but it's good. Uh, it's smoky. It is smoky. Really cool area out here, too. The brewery's in there where it says stop. But oh yeah, there's chairs and stuff inside there as well. Games. It's a really fun place, it looks like. They got Django over there, Connect Four. I don't know what that VIP deck inside is, but. It was good. We chose this place too because they have $5 burgers on Mondays. And you can't beat a $5 burger for burger and chips. Yeah. And on the menu, the burger's $11 normally, so pretty good deal. We're two down. And I'd say this is better than the brew bus. Yeah. Like that, the area is. And I think the brew bus, though, was in, since it was in Tampa Heights, I don't think many people get out that way too much. It was the Heights. The Heights yeah. in Tampa. The Heights in Tampa. I don't think many people get out that way probably too much. You know, it wasn't in downtown Tampa. And then this is kind of on the main drag on Central Avenue in St. Petersburg. So there's, I think, three or four breweries up and down here. You know, we, we didn't come on this trip just to go to breweries, but we will uh, maybe check out a few more. What's that, trivia night? Oh, yeah, look, they have Monday. Wait, today? It's today. April 5th. Oh, it's 7 p.m. Cool, we might play some trivia then. That's Saying we made it inside How to, to do trivia. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool in here. That's a huge stage they have, too. Look at that big old... It's like a real stage, like at a yeah. house of blues. Well, it says you can rent it. Oh, yeah. And, and then it says... the bar out here. We should have just came straight back here. Yeah. Got our burger. And it looks delicious. For five bucks. For five dollars, yeah. That's a... It's a lot of burger and chips. Okay, so, so far, not good. No. The first two, we had no idea what it was. We're failing miserably. And this next one, we might have. We have about a 30% chance. 30% chance. All right, I got a Bimini Twist IPA this time. It's pretty good. It's a good IPA. This is a good brewery. All the beers here are pretty good, and because I know my 80s hair metal bands, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this one right. Went ahead and waited for the seven total points. There we go. Yellow background. All right. Now, I think a lot the of people got this area, one. typically urban, inhabited by the poor, the homeless, or others considered disreputable, or forgotten by society in the name of a 1980s hair metal band, none other than Skid Row. All right, we got one. We made it halfway through. Oh, that's a close up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get my nostrils. Yeah, we made it halfway through trivia night. We're about in the middle of the pack, which is pretty good for two people. I got the Florida Orange IPA now. So, third beer here. 30 seconds. And 
Uh, the orange flavor really comes through in it. It's good. And it you don't smells, like IPAs, yeah, but... It smells delicious. It smells just like an orange. If I liked IPAs, I would like that. She, she tasted it, and she likes the, the flavor, but the bitterness. But yeah. Since I like the bitterness... It's one of the better IPAs I've had. It's really good. Really awesome. Alright, so... We shut this one down. We shut her down. Last one, waiting for our Uber driver. Party animals. Party animals. You said that with enthusiasm. Tired party animals. <laughs> we did trivia night. It was fun. We lost epically, but it and was fun. Yeah, we did lose epically. And here's the place empty. Everybody left at the trivia. We're waiting for our Uber. Here we are at Green Bench Brewing Company. We're gonna go inside and see what they have to offer. Got a nice little patio area over there, it looks like. Let's go check them out. We're at what will probably be our last brewery of the trip. Number three at Green Bench. Giving it a try, their double hazy IPA. I think it's called Skyway. said double hazy just hazy double IPA hazy dipper mm. it's pretty good I've had better dippers but it's pretty good it's definitely drinkable it's pretty cool welcome to green bench nice little outdoor area here it is it's really cool outdoor area it's not too far from our hotel so it's yeah. not too bad there's a pupper Breweries and puppers. Oh. The puppers. <laughs> and there's another one way over there. Bre breweries and puppers go along. So I probably look tired in this one. We just spent the entire day at the beach walking around pretty much the whole day. Walking up and down the beach, walking down the boardwalk. Yeah, what do we from eat? about we eleven to three. Walked. Just ate down there and took a trip that's on the other side of the island. Tomorrow is kayaking. Yeah. So we have kayaks will... on Shell Key. Shell Key. If I probably, I'm probably gonna bring the GoPro there too. Maybe post a another video that's just the kayaking experience. I think that'd be cool. And uh, oh, look at this puppy. Oh, yeah, they're getting together, having a good old puppy time. And then <laughs> they're all getting together. <laughs> it's a puppy party. That's a big puppy. <laughs> this one just keeps submitting. I submit. I submit She's to you. Yeah. I submit to you. So it's been a fun trip with a couple of brewery visits. Not too bad. St. Pete sorry. does have a lot of breweries. Doesn't have any clue. We got an old fashioned standoff here between this dog and this bird. Let's see who wins. I don't think anyone's. Go oh, the bird's gonna fly away when this dude walks over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now she's off. I would Where say. I would say that the bird lost. Even though that dude came around, I would say that the bird lost. All right, so I'm trying this one at Green Bench. It's called Drood. It's a imperial stout that and I'm gonna forget everything. I'm gonna have to look this up again of what he told me. It was um, four years in a certain rum barrel, and then another three years, I think he said, aged in another barrel. It's thick. It's heavy. It is a, a powerful 14.7% stout. And which I usually like. Let's see. Hi, my name's Sean. I'm a project manager at Wow. I don't think I've ever tasted a thicker stout. This thing drinks like syrup. 
Wow. It's good though. It's good. But it drinks like oil. <laughs> it drinks like oil. <laughs> like motor oil. The viscosity of it. Whoa. It kicks. <laughs> That's like sour. Like that is, a, it's a little sour. It is a little sour. sour. You're right. That is it's unusual. Seventeen dollars for a twelve ounce uh, bottle of it, which, being that it's been aged for that many years, that thing is sad. It's gonna Ooh. take. This one's gonna take me a minute to drink. This thing. I never. I, that's heavy. As still hell. got my COVID mask on. What's that? It's heavy as hell. It's like drinking straight from a transmission. <laughs> it's like drinking straight from the undercarriage of a Mustang. I can't imagine trying to push down pills with this. Why would you? <laughs> Just talking about regular med. You know, if like I need to take some potassium or something. <laughs> some regular medication. I'm just I'm just trying to think of things your throat would normally do, <laughs> and when you drink water or whatever, is that does that make sense? No, it's stupid. No, it's, just, it's not stupid. It's just kind of out there. <laughs> I'm just thinking of things. Name things your throat does. <laughs> <laughs> That's something your throat does. But, ooh, man. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna do a test. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't think ink could get in here, but my wife said that if you, it is like motor oil, and if you put a dipstick in it, you can probably see if you have enough motor oil in your beer, <laughs> if you have enough in your engine. And it's a yellow pin, so that, it's gonna show, let's see. All right, and this is crazy. Dude, oh. <laughs> look at that. Oh my God. That is motor oil. Oh, it sticks to it. <laughs> oh, it sticks straight to it. Look I at that. I need a napkin now to clean my pen off. <laughs> wow. All right. So this is the first time I've ever had a beer that I had to put a dipstick in to test. <laughs> we dipstick the beer. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. That was thick. It's still on there. It's still on. It was. She, it was she was slinging it off. <laughs> Dude, that is, look at it. You it can't like even. Syrup. You can't even get it off of there. Ah, oh. that's thick. All right. So I thought. Uh, Green Bench was our last one, but we're gonna try cycle brewing too. Maybe one or two beers here, not many, as we've had a couple at, at Green Bench. But let's go see. Let's see what cycle has to offer. It looks like this is a cool place right in the middle on Central Avenue of St. Petersburg. Really popular street here. But they have the offer. Yeah, a lot of a lot of barrel aged stouts though. That is cool. And they're pretty good prices. Not too yeah. bad. Crank IPA with Citra. Just vanilla. That looks good. Cycle is a lot of barrel aged stouts. It seems like that's all they have, so unfortunately, she's been looking for sours. And if you're coming to the St. Petersburg area, very little to be had. Very little sours to be had. Out of these four places we went to, four, Three Daughters was the best, I think, all around. Yeah. I haven't tried this one yet. This is hazelnut coffee, barrel aged stout, but Three Daughters was fun. A lot of variety. And they had a couple of sours, which was good. But I tell you what, if, it, if you like barrel aged stouts, like Jesus, they're everywhere yeah, you can here. Find stouts anywhere you oh, uh, the barrel aged stouts too, which yeah, is yeah, barrel aged. Yeah. This you one know, has nothing but barrel aged almost. Yeah, and most places have barrel aged stouts on some of their limited runs and things right. like that. But here, it seems like barrel aged stouts are everywhere. Yeah, 60, 70 percent were barrel aged stouts here at Cycle, so. 
I like barrel aged stouts. If you like barrel aged stouts, man, this is the city for you. And uh, IPAs, they have IPAs as well. I think everyone in America has IPAs now, but not so much sours. We'll have to go back to New Orleans where we have Urban Sour who does fantastic sours. Yeah, they do. And they do so many of them. Yeah. Well, let me take a sip of this. <laughs> yeah, another super thick. Is that as thick as the last one? No, not. I was gonna say it didn't. Even should look we do like the it. pen test again? No. <laughs> it's definitely not as thick. Yeah, that but you can. Look as yeah, big. you can definitely taste the coffee and the hazelnut in it. But yeah, it's not as thick as Green Looks Benches like that was. Better too. Green Benches was insanely thick. Yeah, I'd say it probably tastes better. It, it's definitely, it's definitely different. It tastes more like a regular sour, no sour. Yeah, there's no sour. You take a sip. You can definitely taste the the coffee and the hazelnut in it. This is way better. It's it's not it's not. That's good. It's not that syrup. It tastes like a chocolate candy bar. <laughs> We're gonna walk down to the bay again. She wants to try to find a shirt. Let's go find a shirt. Okay. I got me a shirt from the main bench. I'm good there. All right.